Hey, I'm Ken. I'm Jessica. And we're here to show you today how to do the shrimp pad thai from Cooking Light Diet. Um, this is one of our favorite meals for our family. It's one that, as both of us being chefs, we couldn't eat bland food. So this is one of our favorites. What did you say, babe? Yeah, definitely a go-to for us. Kids eat it. Uh, noodles make everybody happy. Um, it's kind of like one of those takeout subs that it substitutes if you're thinking, oh, I really wanted to go and get Chinese food. And you know, you know that it's probably not the best choice. This is a great thing to do. Um, it seems like it has kind of a lot of ingredients, but it comes together super fast once you get everything ready to go. Um, really start to finish, I think maybe 20 minutes when we do it on a weeknight. Like I said, kids love it. So. What we've done is we've already cooked off the noodles just for some fun, but if you had noodles from another recipe, you had these in the fridge, it would make it faster for you. We're gonna start making the sauce right now, which, maybe we got the brown sugar, which we made, measured out already. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay, I have the recipe here. Sure, we're gonna go ahead and just put the sauce ingredients in the bowl. We have brown sugar, we have some soy sauce. We got the fish sauce. fish sauce. Don't be scared of fish sauce. It kind of smells funky, but it really rounds out the flavors and everything. That's awesome. Fresh squeezed lime juice, and then some sriracha for heat. If you're somebody that really likes, likes heat the way we do, we probably ramp it up a little bit, but yeah. We also sometimes, because we have the kids, we'll, we'll hold off on the spices and then add it later. Once we get to the table, we'll add more. We have a bottle of sriracha on the table at all times. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the flame here. I'm like a medium-high heat. You put your vegetable okay. oil in here. So, baby, how long have we been doing this diet for the cookie light diet for? So, this is a little bit over a year for us. Um, I had started getting the cookie light magazine, just really liked the recipes. Um, kind of noticed that there were things that we wanted to have to eat and needed lighter versions. I kind of always tell people that, you know, if you want country fried steak or you're looking for fried chicken, Cooking Light seriously has a recipe for absolutely anything you could want to eat. So for us, it's a great way to just swap out things that we already wanted to eat, but with healthier alternatives. Um, so we're, what, a little bit over a year. Yeah, Some total start... of 115 pounds. Yeah, because you've lost 65, I've lost 55, so she's beating me again. Yeah, But uh, that was my plan all along. There's one of the things, though, that we started doing some of the Cooking Light, we got Cooking Light Magazine, and then we'd done another diet plan where you bought the meal, and we never used it. And I was like, well, why are we wasting money on it each month if we're not using it? So Jess found the Cooking Line Diet. She's like, look, we love the food from our magazine, and why not just start cooking with it? So we tried it out, and then I'm starting another burger. And then we just figured out that we started losing weight. I mean, I've lost, like I said, 55, you've lost the 65. And the kids eat everything, so. Yeah, we're not having to make stuff for you know us and then stuff for the kids, which is great. Uh, and I mean, it's just really, really easy stuff. What really got me first hooked on Cooking Light was when they added that whole feature where you can like take a picture with your iPhone and all of a sudden just goes to your My Recipes. And I was like, okay, this is super cool. And then there was the ad for the Cooking Light diet. I was like, yeah, let me check it out. And you know, as I'm going, I'm always looking for a way to get a, a grocery list. Uh, I'm just gonna put the green onions in here and some garlic to saute real quick. Mm. So like the cooking like diet, you can swap out, like it'll give you a standard me uh, menu for the week, but you can swap out based on your preferences, or if you know you're gonna be out <laughs> one night, or if you have leftovers, which is awesome. Uh, the shopping list, the grocery list function is really great, really, really helpful. So we've sauteed the green onions and garlic just a little bit, let them get aromatic. We're gonna go ahead and put our shrimp in. In this case, the shrimp has been cooked, but normally you have a few minutes here where you want to make sure your shrimp is cooked through. So we're just gonna be heating ours up. And depending on, I mean, this is says, the recipe says medium shrimp. You can go ahead and use smaller shrimp if, you know, the visual of having lots of shrimp is cool for you. Um, or if you really love colossal shrimp, and I guess I don't know if it's colossal shrimp. Either one will work. One thing we do like to do, which isn't mentioned in the recipes, is we do like to buy the wild shrimp. We like the flavor of the wild shrimp better. So if we ever find it on sale at one of the grocery stores, we'll buy bags of frozen. And if it's the 1620s or if it's the 2030s, like just so the 2030s we like because it's a good size for the kids and it makes us feel like we're getting more meat too. So, so I didn't mention we put it in the, in the pan, but it's three tablespoons of oil that we put in here. It seems kind of like a lot, but when we uh, 
put the noodles in. They kind of need that so they don't all stick together. These are our pre-cooked rice noodles. We're gonna go ahead, I'm kind of need a tongue here in a second. Sure. Oh, you're fine. So now, in terms of our lives, it's definitely we need stuff that's fast. I mean, I'll come home from work and often the kids are gonna be in bed within the next hour, hour and a half. So Jess is all, sometimes already has dinner ready. Um, one of the things that we've liked is that the kids, we used to eat, cook like four one pound ribeyes and now we're cooking one for a family of five and the two year old and the one year old weren't eating a whole steak themselves. A lot of this has been about the portion control for me. Huge. Um, often the portion the kids don't eat is my lunch the next day at work with being at a restaurant, it's hard. How much food am I eating in a day? I was always picking a barbecue or some of the sweets we had. So we actually set our limit to 1,500 calories, knowing that I was gonna end up having, uh, have to eat some of what we cook at work and different things like that. Yeah. We kind of, we've kind of skipped the snacks lately as a, as a family. I love ice cream and I have ice cream every day. I have one scoop instead of like six scoops like I used to have. I use mine for the cream and sugar in my coffee in the morning because it's something I'm just not willing to give up. So that's where one of my snacks goes. So what we have here is uh, basically what we're what's completed here um, as far as cooking. We got the sauce, just just enough to get the cook it, just enough to get the sauce all over the noodles, heated through. Um, you don't have any cornstarch in here or anything, so it's not going to be thickening up. Go ahead and we'll take this over to our larger platter. It's another thing for us, before, we never, I've never measured food, we've never measured dinners, and that's one of the things that took us a while to train ourselves, and we have a lot of family members like, oh, well, you guys are successful at it because you guys are chefs and it's easy for you. The hardest part for us being chefs was having to measure everything, but once we got better at measuring what is a tablespoon of oil, I was probably using a half a cup of oil every time I cooked for the family. So that's the other thing, sometimes we'll plate as like a full platter and the whole family kind of dives in or if we know that it's something that we're gonna maybe have to watch portion control better you'll see that we'll we'll do a smaller portion like you're supposed to now for the garnish quickly another quick tip is we got peanuts just that's how you smash them without making a mess in your kitchen at home just says I make a mess whenever we cook together so yeah I kind of have to decide is it worth it for him to cook Versus her cooking, because yeah. I will make a mess and destroy every pot and pan we have. Wonderful intentions, wonderful food, ginormous mess. So these are some bean sprouts, fresh bean sprouts. Uh, make sure you're getting good, happy bean sprouts, because bad bean sprouts can be really slimy and yucky. So we're gonna go ahead and just put some basil on here, some shredded basil, and then serve it with. There you go. And now we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for cooking, Thank for, you us. for, cooking for us. One of our favorites. That's it.